So this video is gonna have two different parts. The first one is gonna be on how to animate the eyes, while the second one is gonna be on how to do blinking plus eye movement at the same time. So this is the panel we're gonna work with in this video. You're gonna see it's extremely easy and extremely fast to do. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open Ibis Paint, we're gonna click on the eraser tool, and then we're gonna erase everything except the eye. So once you're done, it should look like this. So we're gonna save the image as transparent PNG. So we're gonna create a new project with the same picture. We're gonna click on brush, and then we're gonna select white. And then we're gonna get rid of the eye by coloring everything in white. And after that, we're gonna save the image. So now we're gonna open CapCut. We're gonna put this picture as the main image. And we're gonna put the eye as an overlay. So now we're gonna put the keyframe at zero second and one second. So we're gonna go to the second keyframe, we're gonna move it to the left side. And after that, we're gonna go to graph, we're gonna select ease out one. So it's really that simple. If I wanna move it to the right side, I'm simply gonna put another keyframe and I'm gonna move it to the right side. And I'm gonna put some graphs, of course. So this is what it looks like. So now you can export the project and we're pretty much done. So you can move it in whatever direction that you want with keyframes. To the left side, to the right side, or up, or down. You have the absolute control. So another thing I want to show you is how to make the eye shake. Just like this one for example. We usually do this when a character is either surprised or nervous. So let's go back to CapCut. We're gonna go to Effects. We're gonna click on Nightclub. And we're gonna click on Camera Shake. We're gonna click on Object. And we're gonna apply it to the eye. We're gonna click on adjust, we're gonna put the speed to 100 and the range to 15. Then we're gonna copy and paste the same clip three more times. So we're gonna go back to effects, we're gonna click on camera shake again. So we're gonna click on object and we're gonna apply it to all clips. We're gonna click on adjust, we're gonna put the speed to 100 and the range to 10. This is gonna add a shake to the camera which will make the movement a lot more intense. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some focus line. If you don't know what a focus line is, it pretty much looks like this. This is gonna add more movement to the clip. It's gonna make it more intense. If you look at this clip, for example, you can see there's some focus line around the character. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on splice and then darken. And we're gonna export the project and we're pretty much done. So this is the final result. So as you can see, it looks a lot better. So on that note, let's go right to part two. Okay, so now I want to show you how to do the blinking animation plus the eye movement at the same time. So I separated the eyes from the character in Ivy's Paint, just like we did in part 1. And then I did the blinking animation in Ivy's Paint, just by using the liquefied pen. Look, I'm not gonna show the whole thing, because I made an entire video on this already. You can find it on my channel, it's the one with Shinobu in the What's thumbnail. Nice? Okay, so we have the blinking animation as the first clip, and then we got the eyes as the second one. So the main goal here is gonna be to mask the eyes under the blinking animation just like this one for example. So let's go back to CapCut. We're gonna put the blinking animation as the first clip. We're gonna put the eyes as the second one. Okay, so now we're gonna put a keyframe when the character's eyes is fully open. And then we're gonna put a second keyframe when their eyes are completely closed. And we're gonna put a final keyframe when the eyes are fully open again. So now we're gonna go to the first keyframe. We're gonna click on mask. We're gonna click on split. So we're gonna put the mask right over the eyes, just like I'm doing. And then we're gonna go to the second keyframe. We're gonna put the mask right under the eyes. It's never gonna work the first time, so you're definitely gonna have to adjust it to get the perfect timing. And we're gonna do the same thing for the third keyframe. We're gonna put the mask right over the eyes. So it should look something like this. So we're gonna export the project and we're pretty much done. So this is the final result. So that's pretty much it for the video. The next video, I definitely want to do something a little bit more special. I think I'm going to do like a fight scene. So if you're interested, feel free to subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you guys into the next video.